Hello darlings, I am Cassandra George Sturgis. Welcome to my channel Authentic Beauty Handmade Dolls and Crafts. Today's In today's reading, we are going to go over the question, why am I attracted to people who cheat on me? Why am I constantly in relationships with people who are unfaithful? This is a question that the Jungle Beauty Goddesses are going to answer. So first I just want to tell you that the Jungle Beauty Goddesses are cloth dolls that I create. And as a matter of fact, we have Jungle Beauty Goddess Sinai here and Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari is right here. And Jungle Beauty Goddess, let me get in focus. Jungle Beauty Goddess Namib is right here. And these are dolls that I made and they are characters in a science fiction book series that I created and they have always been extremely talkative, opinionated, assertive. <laughs> They've always talked to me since the moment I made them and I guess um, making the, these tarot cards has been their way of really having a voice. So I just want you to keep that in mind. Now if this reading does not give you goosebumps or or make you feel some kind of way or doesn't resonate with your spirit then that means that this reading is not for you but it may be for someone you know so please like and share the video if you think it would be a benefit to someone so we are going to see what the jungle beauty goddesses have to say about why some why are you or why are some people are attracted to people who are unfaithful to them or people who cheat on them each hand is different this is a pick a deck uh, pick a card type of reading so we're going to go ahead and see what the jungle beauty goddesses have to say about why you are constantly attracted to people who cheat on you in relationships the question the jungle beauty goddesses are going to answer is why am i attracted to people who cheat on me. This has been a requested video. This information is timeless. It is not based on a particular zodiac sign or day of the week. This information will be just as good five years from today as it is ten years. It's just tapping into the consciousness of humanity. So the question that has been requested is why am I attracted to people who cheat on me? Why do I participate in relationships where people are unfaithful? What is it about me that is drawing me to people who are not faithful to me? So we are going to look into the cards and see what the Jungle Beauty Goddesses have to say. I call on forces higher than I to release the wisdom I hold inside. Let this message be compassionate and true to show someone what they must do. Let's see what the jungle beauty goddesses have to say to help someone find their way. I call on forces higher than I to unleash the wisdom I hold inside. Let this reading be compassionate and true to show someone what they must when do. When I shuffle the decks, let's see what the Jungle Beauty Goddesses have to say read and to help someone spread. find their way. I like to trust the universe. I like to trust my cards that they are giving me the answers that I am requiring of them. If the answers do not come to me immediately, I just simply put the cards aside and just wait a few moments and meditate because I trust them. So you are seeing the actual shuffling of the spread of the cards that are being used to answer the question, why am I attracted to people who cheat on me? Why, why do I select people who are unfaithful to me? Why am I attracted to relationships where people cheat on me? What is inside of me that needs to be changed so that I can make different decisions?
What I'd like for you to do is take a moment to settle into your spirit, to settle into your body, to settle into your heart. I want you to take a deep breath to the count of three. Hold that breath in to the count of three. Blow it out to the count of three and repeat. And then I would like for you to select a bird that's that resonates and vibrates with your spirit not your favorite color but which birdie is speaking to you remember we do not see the world the way it is we see the world the way that we are so select the bird that your spirit is telling you to select and maybe there is something in this particular reading that will help you Hello darlings, if you selected the blue butterfly, then this reading is for you. Look at this little cute birdie. Let's see what message the birdie has for you in terms of why you keep attracting people in your life who cheat on you. So the first card, I don't know the order, but I'm just going to go through the cards and give you my intuition about the collective message from the spread. So the first card we have in this spread is Jungle Beauty Goddess, Kal- I mean Sinai, who represents the now, and she also represents the um, sacral chakra, which is responsible for our sensuality and our, you know, feeling, you know. Um, having loving and intimate relationships with other people, being able to connect with other people, not feeling shame and guilt about our, you know, um, intimacy, our ability to connect with other humans, our love, loving someone else, uh, but not from the sense of Kalahari who is, you know, it could be loving and being compassionate, but this has to do with our uh, reproductive organs and therefore our you know feeling shame about who we are as human beings or um, in terms of you know so here we have jungle beauty goddess kalahari and she says how do you feel about how do you feel about it your feelings matter it's going to go through the cards and let me give you the real big picture in just a moment so then we have jungle beauty goddess afar and she says Perfection is the enemy of ingenuity. And then lastly for this spread, we have Jungle Beauty Goddess Sinai. And she says, you don't need a reason to have fun. So the first thing I want to tell you is that your spread was dominated, because it's just four cards in the spread. So it was dominated by Jungle Beauty Goddess Sinai, who represents the sacral chakra, which has to do with our sensuality, sensuality, our sexuality, our ability to have intimate and loving relationships with other people. And also, so what I'm going to say is that, let me just give you the real big picture, the collective energy that I picked up from this spread that came to me, is that you are the type of person who you gauge your relationships by how good you are to the person like oh I pay the bills or I cook dinner I make their lunch Uh, I'm a good person Uh, whenever somebody need me I'm always there I keep the house clean Uh, you you look at love in a way where it is it's really to you it's, it's practical it's a practical relationship. So you have Jungle Beauty Goddess Afar here, and it says perfection is the enemy of ingenuity. So you, wow, this hand was so powerful to me. So you're a person who thinks that because you are a good person, because you pay the bills, because you cook dinner, because you clean the house, because you are, you know, iron their clothes and make their dinner and fold their, do the laundry, you know, you're that person whether you're male or female or whether it is a you know whatever the sexual orientation of the relationship you feel like look hey I'm solid because I am doing what I'm supposed to do I am a good person but 
what you don't understand about relationships is that relationships are really about intimacy and according to this hand with jungle beauty goddess cyanide dominating you have difficulty with intimacy so you even when you are engaged in an intimate aspect you know um, loving relationship or the the physical aspect of your of your relationship is dutiful to you you feel like well i'm doing it because i'm supposed to do it but you're not doing it because you are like super turned on so you're that person who says i want a, a mate because i want a mate to have these qualities i want somebody who's going to cook for me i want somebody who's going to clean for me or i want a man who's going to pay the bills i want a provider you it's like a laundry list but it lacks passion that's the word it lacks passion it lacks joy it lacks sensuality like you're you're just so practical and when you meet people they want to be with you because you are so awesome because it's like how am I gonna find another person who's gonna wash my clothes love my kids by my last two wives or you know what I mean like people are just like they find you to be reliable and and loyal and and loving and you 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 know you're like i said you're that person you make their lunch you pick them up from work you do whatever is required but when it comes to the juiciness the passion the intimacy you are just you're, you're missing that area you do it but it's dutiful you're not that person who said oh you know what we're gonna go on this romantic you're not romantic <gasps> You're not, you're not a romantic person, and when you meet people, you are such a good person. You're such a loving person. You're such a caring person in terms of nurturing a person, but it's more of a maternal or paternal type of love that people, you know, they want to be with you because you're because of, you know, um, of how good you are in terms of being practical. But they cheat on you because. The love is missing. The passion is missing. And you're not that person who's just going to come and, you know, kiss them on the ear or, or come and say, you know, baby, I love you. Let's, you know, let me surprise you with some flowers or let me try something new or wear a lingerie. You're not that. You're the person who's just like, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be here. I'm solid as a rock. I'm going to pay the bills. I'm going to cook dinner. I'm going to wash your clothes. But when it comes to love, I'm going to do that too. But it's just not going to be, you know, I'm not going to try anything different. It's going to be dutiful. So you need to work on your second chakra, child. Okay? I'm just going to just be honest here. Your perfection is the enemy to ingenuity. Ingenuity is our ability to try different things, to come up with a different way of doing things. But also, the other aspect that I came across, or the other piece of information that I received from this particular hand is that it says how do you feel about it your feelings matter this is Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari and what is coming in my spirit is that you are a person who is closed off from your emotions like you are closed off like to you love is not you are a you're not into your feelings you know how some people are into their feelings you're not an into your feelings type of person you don't take things personally but you could use a little bit of getting into your feelings you're not the person who is easy to get you're not it's, it's not easy for you to feel jealousy you're not a jealous person you're not insecure you're not the things that make us imperfect you know the things that make us like a little bit jealous a little bit crazy like, where were you or you know the thing that make people like feel really kind of you know what I'm saying feel loved or feel special you're just like you're very practical you're not you're not in touch with your emotions how do you feel about it your feelings matter you just feel like when people when you find yourself from one relationship to the next where each person is cheating on you you don't look at it from an emotional standpoint you look at it from like how could you cheat on me like I made your dinner I could I wash your car I watch your kids I I paid the bills like what's wrong with you you did everything but love them in a juicy passionate intimate way your focus is not on the thing that make people you know want to be in love with you people love you but being in love with you, that is the area where you could use some help. 
So I'm just going to give you a, a really quick suggestion. The sacral chakra is two inches below the navel. And I would tell you to, let me see if I have a stone. Oh, God, I don't have a bunch of stones. They're falling everywhere. Um, oh, this is for my, sorry. <laughs> this is the raw chakra. Look, like, like gemstones everywhere. This is a sunstone. You know what? I'm looking for my carnelian. Let me see if I have. Look, you want to put this, you want to find a nice carnelian. And you know what? You want to get a sphere. And because this is an area um, where you could probably use some work, I would get a nice size sphere. So this is carnelian. And you should put it on your second chakra, which is, like I said, is two inches below your navel. Um, also, you can use a sunstone on that area as well. Because what you want to do is you want to feel, you know, passionate. Like, do you know how, like, some people, they are, you know, they're not going to wash your car, they're not going to cook your dinner, they're not going to do your laundry, but people are in love with them because they are really good kissers, or they're really good lovers, they're really good people to talk to. They're the kind of people who tell you how wonderful you are, you know, or they... You know, like, so you want to work on being more passionate, um, juicy, and fun, and adventurous, and unpredictable. That's the area where you need to work on. And I would also tell you that you should get, and I'm trying to see, I think I may have something. Not only do you want to use um, your rose quartz for your heart chakra, you could also use, I think this is rhodonite, if I'm not mistaken. You want to put this on your heart chakra as well because you want to get in contact with your emotions because it is your emotions that make you, you know, passionate and interesting and fun. And well, I'm not saying you're not those things, okay? Please don't be offended. I'm just saying you're not a person who is easily roused. You're very practical. You're a good person. You're a smart person. You're intelligent. The best way I can describe this is that let's just say there was a full course meal. Okay, and you're 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 the meat, the potatoes, the vegetables. You're solid as a rock, but you're not the dessert. The dessert that is raw and fattening, and just you know you eat it and it make your toes curl, and you've God knows you don't want to eat the whole thing. You want to get a little bit more desserty. You know you want to get you want to become that person like. Some people are just too much dessert. Like all they all they are are dessert. Like you know, you go out with them, they're fine, you have a good time, and then they don't even call you when they say they're gonna call. But you're solid as a rock. But I want you to become a little bit more flirty, a little bit more fun. So I want you to work on your second chakra and your heart chakra. I want you to open up to your feelings, open your heart up. You know, I want you to um, to feel your emotions. Okay, and also the passion two two inches below your navel I want you to work on your second chakra and once you open up your heart chakra because you love from a very logical place I think you you love from your mind you love from your head like I love you I, because that's why you think I why you think I wash your car why you think I cleaned this because I love you but you need to love from a place that is just very um, passionate and intimate and fun and juicy the word is juicy as well so um, I hope this video helps someone um, if again if this video doesn't give you goosebumps to make you feel some kind of way or resonate with your spirit then this message is not for you but you may know someone that this message may help so please don't forget to like and share this video thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello darling. If you selected the pink but the the pink bird, this is a cute little birdie. 
then that means this reading is for you and we're going to see what this little cute birdie have to tell you so the cards that you selected was we have jungle beauty goddess um, Sahara coming in and she says clarity is magic jungle beauty goddess Sahara represents the throat chakra and also I'm sorry the throat chakra and ability to recognize the truth know the truth but the thing about this particular card in this reading is it says um, we have jungle beauty goddess uh, Sahara and she says clarity is magic you are a person who is not looking for a mainstream answer as to why you continue to select people who cheat on you you're not looking for the answer of oh my god you have low self-esteem oh my god maybe your dad cheated on your mom that's not what I'm picking up from this particular um, spread. I'm picking up that what you want, when it says clarity is magic, magic is a type of information or ancient knowledge that reaches beyond dimensions and time and space. So you're looking for something a little bit out there. You're like, look, I want to know why I continue to, to select these people because I don't know what it is about me. So anyway, let's go ahead with the rest of the cards. You have Jungle Beauty Goddess of Far, who is responsible for ingenuity. She says, use your skills and resources to invent what is missing. Now I'm gonna get back to that card, but I wanna go through all of the cards real quick because the minute I went through these cards, I, I just immediately knew what the message was from the Jungle Beauty Goddesses to whoever selected this pink bird so you also have jungle beauty goddess kalahari and it says never apologize for loving with all of your heart and then lastly for this particular spread you have jungle beauty goddess namib and who's responsible for the soul it says your soul signed up for this mission on earth find the lesson to help you evolve so you would not believe what popped to my spirit when I pick up this hand. First of all, we had Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara who says clarity is magic. So I knew that this person was looking for a different type of answer, a different type of information. And then we have the soul card from Jungle Beauty Goddess Ami. And it says, your soul signed up for this mission on earth, find the lesson to evolve. What popped in my spirit, what came to me is that and your previous lifetimes and i don't mean one lifetime i think the last three lifetimes I'm, this is crazy you were a big cheater you cheated on every single person that you dated that you were married to it was just your personality it was just who you were and in this lifetime you wanted to understand what it was like to be to cheat you know what it, you want to know what it felt like to cheat on someone because when people would talk to you about how devastated they were how hurt they were about your you know infidelities you couldn't relate it didn't make sense to you so you decided in this lifetime that you actually want to see what it's like to be cheated on and so that is really the lesson and what's interesting about this hand to me is that it also says you have jungle beauty goddess kalahari who says never apologize um for, let me get in focus never apologize for loving with all your heart so to me what i'm picking up in my spirit is that when people cheat on you you're not really that angry with them you're not as angry with them as you should be like people like to you it's weird like people are probably saying oh you need to break up and you need to leave this person but you don't even understand why you forgiving them or but you just still want to know why am I attracted to people who are unfaithful to me so basically even when people cheat on you you're you know you're not happy about it but you still you know never apologize for loving people loving with all your heart you still love them and you know what what, what came to my spirit is that in a previous lifetime these are people that you cheated on you cheated on them in a previous lifetime and for this in um in this incarnation you, this person agreed to cheat on you and y'all love each other like these are people who are i don't want to say your soulmates or your twin flames but these are people that you have a karmic 
a deep spiritual relationship with and at a soul level you both understand what is happening and also the last card that I pulled in this spread is from Jungle Beauty Goddess of Fire and it says use your skills and resources to invent what is missing now what this card means to me is that you are a person oh god let me keep it together here you are a person who um, you're going to be able to help other people with their relationships because you you understand both sides of the coin you know what it's like to cheat on people and you also know what it feels like to be cheated on and because you have this deep spiritual understanding you are going to create either a book you're going to maybe write articles you're going to you're going to be a life coach a counselor um, a spiritual advisor you're going to do something to help other people who um, are, are in relationships where there is infidelity because there's just wisdom that you are collecting that is going to be for the collective good that is going to help I want to say you know hundreds of thousands millions of people you are you and this is what the um, the car from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara and it says clarity is magic is that you have a certain distance about it like yes you're curious about it but you're also researching it you're also trying to understand it you're also trying to you you're looking for a clarity that is going to make sense because someday it says use your skills and resources to invent what is missing you're going to be a really good person who is going to be a resource who's going to save a lot of marriages save a lot of relationships because you came to this planet it says here from jungle beauty goddess namib who is responsible for the soul she says your soul signed up for this mission on earth find the lesson to help you evolve so i really hope this message help someone so again if this message does not resonate with you if it doesn't give you goosebumps or make you feel some kind of way then this message was not for you but I hope that someone can find something meaningful from this and um, that this video benefits someone thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video Hello darlings, if you selected the purple butterfly, I mean birdie, then this reading is for you. So see what the little cute birdie has to say to you. It's so cute. Okay, let's go ahead with the reading. Alright, so um, first we're going to go over the cards. Now remember if this reading does not resonate with you, give you goosebumps and make you feel some kind of way, then it means it's not for you. But I'm going to go ahead and go over the cards first and then give you my big picture intuition about this particular spread. So we have Jungle Beauty Goddess of Fire who is responsible for ingenuity and the uh, third eye. You would never fail when you are being yourself. And then you also have Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara and it says do something physical that brings you pleasure you have jungle beauty goddess Chobi and it says anger means a boundary has been crossed you must fix it and lastly you have jungle beauty goddess Kalahari who says trust love jungle beauty goddess oh my god I don't know what fell and we have jungle beauty goddess Kalahari who is right here say hi Okay, so on my paper. The collective energy that I picked up from this particular spread is that 
you are a person who, when you are in a relationship, in the beginning, you are, you know, you like to put on your lashes and dress up, or you're the guy who is very romantic and you want to take her out and bring her flowers. And you, you just, you know, you just come in, you know, shining, you know, in a relationship. You have Jenna Beauty Goddess of Fire, and it says you would never fail when you are being yourself. Now, the thing is, when we are in relationships in the beginning, we have a tendency to everyone to, you know, dress up, be our best self, be on our best behavior, you know, just like when you start a job or anything. But um, what happens is, and this is what my spirit is telling me, you get comfortable in a relationship, okay? You get comfortable and you don't mind burping, you don't mind passing gas, you don't mind just letting your hair hang down when you think you got the person wrapped up in a bow. That, that is what my spirit is telling me. And so what happens is this person who thought you were like super romantic, who, you know, you're the person who was bringing her flowers, or, you know, you were the girl who always kept yourself up, you wore makeup, you were, you know, you made dinner, you, you know, you pulled all the stops to get that person. But when you feel that you have them, you just, you're just not that person anymore. So what happens is, it says that you know anger means that um, anger means a boundary has been crossed sorry you must fix it so basically what happens is you get in a relationship let me just pull it together you put on your you know your best behavior you're the knight in shining armor you're betty crocker you know whether this is a uh, doesn't matter about the orientation of the intimacy rather you know and you just you just that person who just everybody is just I mean the people are just in love with you but when you feel comfortable you just really kind of like feel like well I don't have to do those things anymore because we're together you know you know I don't have to perform anymore I don't have to be somebody that I'm not and you change now I'm not saying that in the beginning of a relationship that you should be a person who is, you know, like burping or no one should do that in a relationship. But I think what happens is you change too much. Like you're that girl, like when you first meet him, you're taking care of yourself. And by a year in, you have like, you have this, you cut your hair off, you got this crazy hairstyle. Or you're that guy who used to bring flowers or used to be very romantic. And now you don't even think that way anymore. So I think there's this big gap between who you are in the beginning and who you become after you feel like the relationship has um, solidified or once there's a commitment. So basically what happens is you become angry because you feel like, hey, I thought this was love. You know, I thought that when you love somebody that you can, you know, burp in front of them. You can, you know, um, use the bathroom with the door open. You know what I mean? You start feeling like, you know, I, I feel betrayed because you feel that love means that you get to just show all of your spots. You know, I get to leave my bathroom door open. I get to burp. I get to pass gas. I get to just really just be human because this person should love me. And what happens is, you know, you you give away too much of your mystique. I don't care if you are a male or a female, you get too comfortable. I don't care if you were the person for 50 years, 15 years, five years, or five months. There's just a certain level of decorum and mystique that a person should always have about themselves that's just you know i'm just saying this is my intuition about this particular spread so you become angry because you feel like you know i trust love you know i trust that love will pull 
you know, that a person will love me even if I don't brush my teeth, even if I don't comb my hair, even if I'm in a bad mood, even if I don't bring them flowers, even if I don't cook anymore, even if I, you know, just when they met me, I had long flowing hair, but then I cut myself into a hair into like a little tiny little afro or, <laughs> or whatever. But you're that person who thinks that, you know, I'm in the relationship and you should love me. So it says, um, here you have Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara. She says, do something physical that brings you pleasure. Basically, when you say, Katara represents the body and how we, um, like our appearance, our money, how we feel about ourselves. But I'm sorry, that's not how we feel about ourselves, but how we present ourselves to the world. So do something physical that brings you pleasure. I'm going to from this collective energy of this particular spread, I feel like you need to take care of yourself. Like you need to, in order for your partner to feel pleasure, there is a certain amount of, certain level of who you are that you really, you need to keep that mystique about yourself because that mystique brings your partner a certain amount of pleasure. That is the energy that I'm picking up. So don't become angry because somebody is upset that you, you know, pass gas or you're burping at the table or chewing with your mouth open because you just don't care anymore. Whereas in the beginning, you would have never done those things. Now, I'm not saying that it's wrong to trust love. It's not wrong to trust love. Like, I just think sometimes people have this idea about love that, you know, I can just be whoever I want to be. I can just do whatever I want to do and this person is going to love me. <sighs> but I'm going to tell you that the reason people are cheating on you is because there is too big of a gap between who you are when they first meet you and who you are once you feel you have that person and you need to keep a little bit of your mystique and your magic and um, in your relationship so that a person can still feel passionately in love with you and one way that I can explain this to you is that let's just say you go to a restaurant to um, you want a hamburger right let do you want to see the person like pick the cow and shoot kill the cow. I don't know how people I don't know how people do this. But you actually watch them kill the cow, cut the cow up, grind the meat. You know, you watch the entire process. Now I know some people might like that burger, but I'm gonna bet that most people would just feel <laughs> you may never want another burger again in your life. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't wanna see how that steak or that burger was created to make it to your plate you don't you don't want to see that so i'm just going to say that yes you trust love with all your heart and you trust it and you think that if a person love you that they should love every little thing about you even if you pick your teeth at the dinner table even if you know what i'm saying but you need to to um keep up a little bit of your 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 image your how you present yourself because even yes that person may love you but what keeps a person faithful to you and loyal to you i know it has not i know people say that you know people cheat for different reasons but i'm just gonna say that the the person that they're seeing at work with the perfume on and the makeup or the guy who's you know smells he smells good or he looks good sometimes you still want that magic you don't just want to be with that person who is in the house and their hair is all over their head and they didn't brush their teeth you want to be with a person who still fix up for you they still put on makeup they still dress up they still wear a tie they still you know what I'm saying like don't get so comfortable to where they feel like they're they're not turned they're not attracted to you anymore so because they are missing that element of the the magic of the attraction then they're always attracted to other people who appear magically put together. Does that make sense what I'm saying? So anyway, um, I don't mean to offend anybody. I'm just 
you know, reading the cards and I'm sharing what's coming to my spirit. So I hope this video helps somebody. Um, if this message doesn't resonate with you, give you goosebumps or make you feel some kind of way, then I mean this message was not for you. But maybe you know someone who will benefit from this. So please don't forget to like and share this video. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello darlings, if you have selected the green birdie, then this reading is for you. Oh, look at the little birdie. Let's see what message this birdie has for you. Okay, I think it's so cute. So the collective energy, but first let me go over the cards. You have Jungle Beauty Goddess Chavi, and it says you have the courage to stand up for yourself. focus I don't know if this is it doesn't look like it's in focus but this is good and then you also have jungle beauty goddess Chalby again and it says tap into your grit next we have jungle beauty goddess Sahara and jungle beauty goddess Sahara says and between the words therein lies the truth and then the last card I pulled for this particular spread, you have Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari, who represents love. And she says, love multiplies when you give it away. So I'm, go I'm going to tell you my collective uh, intuition about this particular spread. Like, I guess what I'm about to say guys is that the truth you know can be a really weird thing and I don't want to I don't want to offend anybody and it, you know don't be offended guys these are just dolls don't give me you guys Kalahari is right here you see she's a cloth doll so it, we're, we're sorry about my gemstones and everything um so I don't want anybody to be upset about this so we have Jungle Beauty Goddess Chobby who dominates this hand and you know she says you have the courage to stand up for yourself and then you have her Chobby again when she says tap into your grit and it was just a four card spread and she dominates she represents the solar plexus which is two inches above your navel this right I'm sorry is right in your stomach area and this has to do with your self-esteem your confidence um, how you feel about yourself now you also have jungle beauty goddess sahara who says in between the words therein lies the truth so let me just give you my big picture intuition about the spread my my intuition is telling me that you know when a person is cheating on you but you enjoy the drama I know you're the person who you love to calling your girlfriends or calling you know your mom or your family it's like there is something that you're getting out of the person cheating like when people cheat like it says in between the words therein lies the truth you know they're lying to you um, it says you have the courage to stand up for yourself you can end this anytime you feel like it this cycle of of constantly selecting people who are unfaithful to you is you know a lot of times I think people would say that oh the reason you keep selecting people who 
are cheating on you it's because you have low self-esteem but what my instincts are telling me is that you are getting something out of this on a very I want to say on an unconscious level you enjoy the drama of it all you enjoy the attention you enjoy this and, and in between the words there and lies the truth you know they're lying you know when they're lying and you're good at it and whenever you feel like tapping into your grit whenever you feel like standing up for yourself you can end this cycle but it says love multiplies when you give it away now in this particular hand what my intuition is telling me is that you know when the person cheat on you they want to buy you nice things they want to take you out to dinner they, they it seems like they fall in love with you all over again and for some reason you're just you you feel loved you this is is this weird you feel love once you find out the person has cheated on you because then they begin to like dote on you and tell you how much they love you and how they don't love the other person and you know so you have this one the person who cheated on you begging you for their forgiveness then you you know you have your friends and your family taking your side and you get to play victim you know you're getting all this attention all this drama everybody's like feeling sorry for you and the truth is you know that you you knew they were cheaters when you met them so you're getting something out of being in a relationship with a person who cheats something emotional is being fulfilled something I don't know um, yeah you can stop this whenever you decide that you've had enough you can tap into your grit and you and you know what my my instincts are telling me you do have the courage you do have the courage to stand up for yourself and I'm gonna say something really wrong the person think they're cheating on you but you are running this relationship you're the one who is I don't want to say you're cheating on them but you're the you are the predator you know like you know that these people you know them when you see them you know a cheater you can sniff them a mile away but you also love it when they make up and when they tell you that they're sorry and when you get to call your friends and you get to every you know have a girls night out or a boy you know your or your male friends are like hey dog why did you know it's like there's you enjoy the drama i'm just gonna call a spade a spade you enjoy the drama of being with a person who cheats and when you get tired you you have the self-esteem to stand up for yourself tap into your grit and end it but you like the way the love multiplies the way that you get the attention from everybody from your family from your friends from the person who cheated and you know it's just it's a good story to tell and it makes people feel sorry for you but uh, you know what you're doing so anyway that's my intuition for this particular spread now if this reading doesn't resonate with you or give you goosebumps or make you feel some kind of way that means that this message was not for you but maybe you know someone that it may help so please don't forget to like and share this video I hope this information was helpful for someone thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video Hello darlings, if you selected the red birdie 
then this message is for you. Oh, look at the cute little birdie. So pretty. Let's see what message this cute little birdie has for you. So first, let's just go over the cards, big picture. We have Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari who says, love is an action that speaks clearly, boldly, and unapologetically. And then we have Jungle Beauty Goddess Chalby coming in. And Chalby says, if you don't change, you will become obsolete. Jungle Beauty Goddess Sinai says, do it now. So whatever you need to do to change this, this is not something you need to put off. And then we have Jungle Beauty Goddess Afar. And she says, be innovative, turn your idea upside down. So I'm just going to give you the collective energy or my intuition of this hand. What my spirit is telling me is that you believe that it is human nature for people to cheat. That is your belief. And because that is your belief, the universe can do nothing but, but manifest in your life your own belief system. So, Jungle Beauty Goddess Kala, I mean, I'm sorry, Afar is telling you, she says, turn your idea upside down. So basically, what if you said, for example, I really don't think it's all people cheat. Like if you're the kind of person who thinks that all people cheat, you will only meet people who cheat because you will not resonate, vibrate with a person who doesn't cheat because they're you're not at the same frequency. So Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari comes in and she says love is an action that speaks clearly, boldly, and unapologetically. So basically if your definition of love is that you know, it is okay for a person to still love you, and even if they cheat on you, that's that's still showing love. Then this is a clear message to you. Like for, I guess what I'm saying is, if you believe that it is human nature, and this is for both males and females, this reading, and for all, you know. If you believe that it's human nature for people to cheat, then you're only going to attract people who cheat because this is what you believe in. This is you think that you know you're that person who says, "Oh, it's just human nature. It's just the way people are." But yet, when it happens to you, you always seem surprised. You always are wondering to yourself, like, "Why do I keep picking people who are cheating on me? Why do I keep selecting people who are unfaithful to me or unloyal to me?" Well, I don't understand how you're going to meet somebody who is not that way when you are carrying around the um, the psychic pattern, the psychic frequency of a person who thinks that this is how life is. So, Jungle Beauty Goddess Afar is telling you to be innovative and turn your idea upside down. So, what if you just started thinking? You know what? All people do not cheat. It is not normal for people to cheat. And that love is, you know, love is an action that speaks clearly, boldly, and, un and unapologetically. And what that means to me, that if you really love me, you're going to be faithful to me. You're going to be loyal to me. I'm not going to be worried about you, you know, bringing me home some disease, child. You know what I'm saying? Or, you know, you sleeping around on me or I can trust you when you tell me you're at work late. But as long as you hold the belief that this is how people are, this you gonna this is just how it's gonna be for you. If you don't change, you will become obsolete. So basically, if you don't change how you feel about human nature, then you are going to be a person who is not going to be able to enjoy human beings as they evolve. You're not going to be a person who is going, like, let me just say this. Be, you know, the world is changing. And there was a time in our society when we said boys would be boys. Women accepted men cheating. Cheating was just okay. Now, if you hold on to this belief, that it is okay for people to cheat you're not going to attract 
a generation of people or the new people who aren't that way. So you're going to be wondering why you can't get married, why you can't find a mate, because I, I really think that the ideology of it's normal for people to be unfaithful, you know, like because a lot of a lot of people compare us to, you know, other animals. They'll say, well, you know, look at the look at the tigers, you know, look at the lions, look at the bears. They cheat. We're just just like every other animal in the kingdom. But there are other species, like I think penguins and uh, cardinals, elephants, I believe. There are you know a lot of different species who made for life but the thing is I think the paradigm and humanity is moving towards being honest and faithful to people being loyal and if you are a person who is holding that belief you're gonna find yourself single that's what this reading is saying and Jungle Beauty Goddess Sinai says do it now change the way you think Right now, Jungle Beauty Goddess of Fire says, be innovative and turn your idea upside down. No, it is not normal for all humans to cheat. That is not the way people act who truly love you. Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari says, love is an action that speaks clearly, boldly, and unapologetically. Like clearly, boldly, and boldly, and unapologetically, it's a person who is faithful to you, a person who is not lying to you about their whereabouts or where they were. It's a person who you don't have to go through their phone because they hold an, an integrity about themselves. But, but please keep in mind that if you are a, a, based on what I'm picking up from this particular spread, from these cards, that the reason you continue to attract people in your life who are um, cheaters who are disloyal who are who are unfaithful is because you are holding that belief in your beingness in your spirit this is this is really your belief system playing out for you and until you change the way you think about people and relationships and what love is then you're going to continue to find people who are resonating at the frequency of infidelity if this video does not give you goosebumps or make you feel some kind of way or resonate with your spirit that means this message was not for you but it may be for someone you know so please don't forget to like and share this video i hope this video actually you know helps someone benefit someone thank you so much for watching and i look forward to seeing you in the next video.